guys, Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Wanted to show you uh, kind of a tasty little lick for for it works over a blues, a seven chord, a funk, a fusion, a jazz, you know, a jazzy blues kind of thing. Um, basically, what I'm using is uh, there's a few different ways to think about it. One is just the root on the B string for a, for a is the tenth fret. So if you've got some cool like you know blue scale licks, and you're kind of working there, and you want to get into a little bit sweeter sound. It kind of comes from the a little bit of the blue scale, a little bit of what's called a mixolydian, and a little bit of actually even like the a major pentatonic, all kind of wrapped together into a little jambalaya. So ring finger on the 12th fret of the B string. Just keep in mind where the root is though, 10th fret. And with my ring finger, middle finger behind that, and index finger behind that, I'm going to bend that up. My index finger is going to be free after... to the ninth fret of the high E, and then I'm going to go index, middle, ring, pinky, or slide with the ring. Let's slide with our ring finger. So then I go back to the twelfth fret on the B string, bend it up, pick it, bend it down, and then release it to the 10th fret on the B string. That's the lick. And also when you're on the root right there, you can go middle finger to the uh, 11th fret of the G. Plus, I've showed this lick before, on the 12th fret, high E, you can bend that up of what's called a minor third. You're bending it all the way up to the 12th, 30, 40th, 15th fret. with the last lick, the more advanced lick I taught. Hey, so anyway, hopefully that uh, is something you can add to your arsenal. Uh, it was fun to teach it to you. And that's it. Click the link to the right and check out some of my blues DVDs. Um, otherwise, I'll see you right here at YouTube. Later, guys.